Former White House trade adviser Peter Navarro stirred controversy with a bizarre tweet defending Rudy Giuliani from sexual assault claims, RadarOnline.com. In the tweet, Navarro referred to former White House female colleagues as pimp ladies. The controversy began when Cassidy Hutchinson, the former chief of staff to Mark Meadows, claimed in her new book that Giuliani sexually assaulted her on January 6. Alyssa Farah Griffin, another former Trump White House aide, supported Hutchinson's claims, prompting Navarro to respond with an angry and typoriddle tweet. Navarro's tweet read, watched Hutchinson in West Wing suck Candy Daly outside Meadows' office, doing nothing. Pimping new book with White House loser Alyssa Farah. Hutchinson sold soul to J6 Witch Hunt. This her next 15 minutes of fame. Rudy Giuliani hero, Cassidy Trash. Days later, Navarro continued his attack by targeting several notable female aides who served in the Trump administration, calling them pimp ladies. He questioned why White House men would ever hire women after watching these women throw mud at Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani. Navarro's tweet read, why would White House men, Prez, VP, senior aide, ever hire a woman after watching book pimps Cassidy Hutchinson, Alyssa Farah, Stephanie Grisham, Kaylee McEnany, Olivia Troy throw mud real Donald Trump Rudy Giuliani ET. Pimp ladies be giving real MAGA women bad name. Visit the all-new Radar Sports for all the on- and off-field activities of the biggest names in the games. Navarro's controversial remarks have raised concerns about misogyny and the treatment of women in the Trump administration. The comments underneath his post were littered with criticism from both conservatives and progressives. One comment read, as a former Trump supporter, I respect these women for their courage to defy Trump and his criminal behavior. I also believe them over you and Rudy any day of the week. Another read, I knew you're bad, but I didn't realize you're so disgusting. Shame on you. Navarro is an ardent Trump loyalist who recently became the second former Trump official to be convicted for contempt of Congress. He refused to comply with a subpoena from the January 6 committee. It is unclear why Navarro specifically targeted McEnany in his rant, as she has not been vocally anti-Trump since leaving the administration and has transitioned to a role as a Fox News pundit. Giuliani is facing legal troubles of his own. He is currently facing multiple lawsuits and criminal charges related to his alleged attempts to overturn the election results in Georgia during the 2020 election.